short one because I don't have a lot of time. What bless me today, Lord. That's not exactly what it is, my bad. <laughs> uh, let's see. Second Kings 4, verse 12 to... I will say 18. Um, and he said to Gizai, Gehazi, Gehazi, his servant, call the Shumanite. And when he called her, she stood before him, and he said unto him, Say now unto her, Behold, thou hast been careful for us with all this care. What is to be done for thee? Wouldst thou be spoken for to the king or to the captain of the host? And she answered, I dwell among mine own people. And he said, What then is to be done for her? And Gehazi answered, Verily, she has no child, and her husband is old. And he said, Call her. And when he had called her, she stood in the door. He said, About this season, according to the time of life, thou shalt embrace a son. And she said, Nay, my lord, thou man of God, do not lie unto thine handmaiden. And the woman conceived, and bare a son at that season that Elisha said unto her, according to the time of life, and when the child was grown, it fell on a day that he went out to his father to the reapers. I'm going to go down 19. And he said unto his father, my head, my head, and he said to the lad, carry to him to his mother. Apparently, someone might end up having a kid. That's what we got. So, that's what we're going for. And say your prayers. I ain't starting. <laughs> So let's see what this is about. We'll do it four ways, because... Mm. Someone might be heartbroken about what happened with them, or with the situation, probably with the child, because this woman apparently gave birth to a child who literally... I think he got hit in the head, and then went to her, and then he died in her arms. And I think Elijah actually... Oh, 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 right there. Uh, let's see. It was four, right? Yes. Mm. She went on to the da, 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 da. She came to the man of God on the hill. She caught him by the feet. He near to thrust her away. The man of God said, Let her alone, for her soul is vexed within her, and the Lord hath hid it from me and hath not told me. She said, Did I desire a son of my Lord? Did I not say, do not deceive me? And then he said to God, they gird up thy loins and take thy sting out. Child said, as the Lord liveth, as I will not leave thee. And he arose and followed her. Okay, so like this woman was promised a child. She was just like, um, me and my husband are pretty old to be knocking boots. 
she got her child, but the child ended up dying, and she, and she went up to uh, Elijah and be like, you said I was going to have a child. I didn't ask for the Lord for this child. Now I'm the grieving mother. You are coming to fix this since you wanted me to have this so bad. He was like, oh, okay, man. And then he said some witchcraft and brought him back. So she got her son again. So this could be an issue. Especially if you're dealing with infertility or something like that. Maybe you're going to get pregnant or something. So that's cool. That's a promise from the Lord. That's nice, actually. I don't think this person believes it, though. I think they just like, no, I've already gone through this before. We're not doing it again. Fair. <clears throat> this is a nice little promise, actually. I have to say, this is actually a pretty appropriate promise, considering all the bullshit. So... I understood the assignment. Everyone is saying that. It's just like, were you, was it really an assignment or was it just like a side quest? Mm. I should start playing Skyrim again. I should start playing Half Life. I need to get Legacy of Kane again. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, a lot of vexations. There's someone trapped in their head about this. Not really very well, and everyone in the community is like me. And someone's got some I don't want to lose anything else attitude. Hmm. Interesting. So this person who's got the knives, they're like, we are the weirdos, mister, I will cut you. That's their whole motivation, but it's really not much of a motivation here at all. It could be an air sign, but it could also be someone's mentality. Where it's just like, I thought we were the chosen, I thought we were the good ones, I, this, that. It's like they did have a promise, but they had to go and be like, I didn't want this child, but you gave it to me. Come fix him. Come fix him, Lord, you know? Someone could also be having issues with their kid, too. Um, but it's definitely a feeling of, like, unbridled revenge. Almost. Being like, how dare you give me this emotional thing just to screw my emotions up. But, like, it, in a sense, she was kind of faithful because she came back. This person is trapped mentally, probably. Like, they're breaking through the fourth wall. All of this unhappiness within people and what's around them. I feel like someone might feel like they are, um, mocked. These people are all jacked up like a broke down car, though. <clears throat> I'm sure worried about what other people are thinking about what you're getting. <laughs> like, like, one of them's got split in their teeth wondering what, the, what you... Like, all these people who are not happy for you or don't care about you, they are got their own messes. I wouldn't even worry about it. They might even ca be causing you some doubt. Okay, I'm done being silly. Um, this person would nonetheless lose, but I think they're hesitating. It's like they got too many problems, too many issues to worry about. Like, I already got enough problems and now my kid's dead. What do you want me to do? Uh, however, further on in the story, the person gets their kid back, but I didn't read that part either. Was it only to verse 18 I was supposed to read for, or what? Was I supposed to go further? No. Mm. somewhat bitter but it does give thoughts that way someone can move forward to what will actually bring happiness um I don't know if I would call it a test as much as a testament like pretty upset about it pretty much trying to deal with the emotions but having to work through it you know so they want vengeance they don't feel like they've been victorious in this. They feel like a loser because of it. They feel like they put all this hard work in for nothing. Which, I, I completely understand that, you know. 
um, you don't realize how much you put in the stock when it comes to your kids until you don't have them anymore. And then you're sitting there like all these years wasted for nothing. Like, man, they don't feel like they had the upper hand. They feel taken advantage of in this sense. This person's trapped trying to break through the fourth wall, trying to find out which way to go, but all the roads are blocked by um, swords that bring up terrible things or whatever. Mm. I feel like they reached out for a relationship from someone who wanted to take it in, in a very crazy way. Oh, fair. They're not sure if they should go back to this, though, because, like, they feel like whatever connection they made with someone was who brought this issue to them to begin with, you know. Uh, you gave me a child. The child's dead. I want you to help me fix the child, but I don't think they're sure if they want to do that or not. A lot of hesitation. They feel like they, like, if someone did not understand the assignment, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. I'll stop being annoyed with that saying. Someone didn't pay attention to the assignment. They feel like whoever was giving the instructions is pretty much the reason why nothing worked out. It's just like, I didn't have kids for a reason. I didn't have this, and it doesn't have to be an actual child, but it's like, I didn't have this project, I didn't have this job until you came along, and now that all screwed up. You're helping me. But at the same time, this is also, like, like I was saying, a testament to both their faiths. Because, like, even in the story, Elijah was like, the Lord didn't tell me this was supposed to happen, I'm sorry. And she's like, well, I'm not leaving until you come with me, which is completely appropriate. Cause it's like, okay. So he had to have enough faith to use his magic to bring this boy back. And she had to have enough faith to go to the dude who caused this shit to happen to begin with to fix it. All these people who are not happy... All feeling away, all jacked up like a burnt down car. I don't feel like they have anything to do with you other than the fact that you have to look at their face sometimes. They might also be making preconceived judgments about what you've lost, not realizing it's going to be brought back. Someone's probably gonna go get somebody. Because they know that that's the person who got them where they were, so I guess that they need to go to that person and be like, I'm not leaving until you help me rectify this. I don't care. Hmm. They want to know things. I feel like this person was, like, not committed. Oof. Whoever this was that goes to, like, the person who basically called it, you know, basically called it or told them what the fuck was gonna happen. It was just like, yeah, well... You look like you're pregnant. I am not pregnant. Oh, I'm pregnant. Why would you tell me I'm pregnant if I'm good and terrible, you know? But whoever it was, all these people here, just, I feel like, like, you know, because at those times, like, women were shamed for the stupidest things. Like, Lauren, she's trying to drag me into temptation with her ankles, you know, like, just weird things because men are visual creatures I guess I don't know but at least that's how I see it you know, the Bible pretty much is written by men um I haven't seen a book in there that's a female name <laughs> but um it seems like people just don't have any re reliability with this person they just drive them away ooh this person knows how to shut people up. They also know these people are greedy and they give way too much credit to these folk. There also might be a good chance that, that like, the Lord's going to shut them the fuck up. You know, just be like, shh, 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 shh. you talk too much, you know? So that might be a good thing. There's a lot of hesitation on people, mainly because there's too much stuff on their plates. This is like, this is the last thing I really needed right now, Lord. This is bullshit. Uh, ooh, King of Wands right here. Someone's assessing over things, judging it. Could be a person of higher authority that's noticing this with a person. Lots of happiness. Ooh. 
I guess there's some joy after some conflict or confrontation. There's also a Gehazi in here as well. He might also be assessing things. Maybe he doesn't want conflict. Maybe he doesn't want people speaking on this person because they are going through a tragedy. But at the same time, he's trying to act like a king. And it's like, you know, Oh, the, and she's just angry. Mm, despite the fact. Um. Did someone's wife get involved? Like she, like she's all upset, straight looking at her man, like. <laughs> He would have nothing without me. You better remember that. Get the work, bitch. Like, that's pretty much what she's putting out there. Like, and, it, and like, the anger is behind her. She's just like, just wait till we get home. Just, just, just wait till we Let's see. Hmm. Choices. Decisions. Things to do person capable of doing good and bad Sagittarian energy I'm gonna deal with a fierce kick yeah. who does not feel once again like a victor hmm. this is that that's what they're saying like I got power this is that this is trash this is garbage get it out of my house Mm. There's a lot of, um, I don't think it's a lack of faith, as much as it is, someone needs to ride in and resurrect something for someone. So there's probably going to be a good chance that someone's going to be coming in being like, hey, you helped me get this thing that I'm birthed. Um, will you be willing to come back and help me? But probably not in the most calm or rational way, but they'll recognize that you are capable of doing something. And I think you'll recognize that you need to go in and do this. You might be playing the role of Elijah right now where you're able to resurrect things for people whether it's a child whether it's a project whether it's a word whatever you are the mouthpiece to help people mm. yeah someone definitely wants to travel make a decision for someone who's come a long way with that shepherd it's good and bad He knows recovery after great difficulty, but it's distant. It's not distant. There is a loss and the thievery, but it'll be recovered. Probably help of a Sagittarius or someone in that energy. It is Sagittarius season, so it's probably just the energy. Um, and these people could be fierce. Definitely could be with a Leo. Someone's definitely fierce, but they, I believe, fear... Okay. Hmm. Definitely could be with some... It could be with Leo, but there's definitely this energy of, like, a... Um, bad look. Is it just me, or does it seem like a dude got a lump on his head? Every time I look at this, this doesn't look like an actual line. He's not roaring. Um, he's got a dupe on his head. I'm not sure what that... <laughs> But it's like, it's like he raised his eyebrows. It definitely could be with a uh, Leo right here. There might be trouble with them. Or it's just this energy where someone feels out of control. And it's like they're, they're, well, they're kind of admitting their strength. Where it's like, Ugh! but it's because they brought bad news with them. And someone's being receptive to that bad news, I believe. That's why their eyebrows are raised like, oh, what? Oh! Oh, shit, that's terrible, man. Hmm? Oh yeah, um, if anybody is a content creator, much like myself, you might want to check out the new Terms of Services, because they just came out. Watch what you play. Just saying, they're doing that whole thing again. Uh, six of Sticks. Revest. Hmm. The Stork. Travels, 
whatever this person yeah someone's gonna travel to you say it the lord um mainly because i think they think that you could do things for them like you know change residency for the better sooner or later according to the distance from a person in the stork sometimes represents like children too so this could be a situation where someone's coming back about child or what they were trying to birth or something like that because they feel like they lack the victory with it um, and there could be a situation where you helped create something with somebody and now they want you to come back in i th I don't know why. Well, yeah, I know why. Because they feel like, you know, they wouldn't have had this without you. So somehow it's your fault and you need to come fix it because they can't do it themselves. Which is, um, that's not surprising, but it definitely does, I feel like, reestablish your beliefs a little bit. But they also think you're a sneaky snakes, too. They think you... <laughs> I think they really think that, like, you possibly did something to set them up. But this is a long, hard road for you. And you're already eyeing what's going on if people aren't already doing that with you. Either way, it's very clear that, um, people are going to be returning. Whether you want to help them or not, I guess that's, uh, that's the assignment. I guess you're going to be doing miracles for the Lord. I'm not sure. Or you're at least going to have a particular task to help soothe a troubled soul. Mm -hmm. But, that's what I got for this short little Bible study. Yee. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed. Sorry, it's so short. I got stuff to do today. But, I'll see you guys later. You take care. Love your face. Bye-bye.